Hello everyone, Shannon here for Pink Fresh Studio. In today's video, we are going to create this clean and simple pretty floral card featuring colored cardstock and layering stencils. We're going to start with the All Kinds of Wonderful stamp set. We're going to stamp these florals here from this set. The florals, the four florals, are actually on one large stamp, so you can stamp them very quick and easily. I have some light pink cardstock. This is what we're going to ink blend over with our layering stencils. Once I've got my my uh, stamp positioned, I picked up with my Misty, and I'm going to ink it up in a dark blue. This is Stargazer from Pink Fresh Studio. I do want to know on the colored cardstock, it's best to use lighter shades if you're going to ink blend over with um, layering stencils. Lighter shades just allow you to have a greater range of colors. Um, more shades of ink will show up on lighter cardstock. So you also be mindful of the um, cardstock that you're using or the color of the cardstock because it will impact the ink shade a little bit as well. As you can see, I stamped half of the florals again, so I had two more, so I have six florals in total. Now we're going to move on to all kinds of wonderful stencils. I placed my panel down onto a grip mat, grab stencil one, and I'm just going to line stencil one up with my florals. We're going to keep the ink blending here really simple, just going to use one shade of ink for every stencil and just ink blend actually flat. We're not worried about gradations or anything. So for stencil one here, I'm using Coral Reef, just going to ink blend all those flowers with that. Obviously pink or light red on top of pink works beautifully. We don't have to worry so much. Um, with that that colored cardstock affecting the ink. Now we're on to stencil number two, and I'm going to grab passion fruit here and just ink blend all the openings in this. Again, because we're using really light cardstock, really any of the colors we use are going to still show up pretty intense and pretty true. Um, really, it went darker shades as that's when you have to worry about like kind of think about the color wheel and be mindful of opposites. Like if you had yellow. Purple ink might not be the best on top of yellow um, cardstock and vice versa. Purple cardstock and yellow ink might not work really well. So think about opposites on the color wheel. They don't work so well together. So now we're on to stencil number three. I'm going to ink blend with Storm. Storm's a nice kind of a darker blue, so it's going to completely cover that light pink cardstock. And then we're on to our fourth and final stencil in this set. Just line it up and we're going to go move to Slumber, which is a slightly lighter than um, Storm, and ink blend all the openings for the final kind of uh, stems and leaves on these flowers. And once I finish with that, we are done with those first four flowers. I'm just going to now repeat that process for the other two that I stamped again, and then we'll be done here with my ink blending. So now we have all six of our florals colored, and we're going to move on to die cutting them out. So I grabbed the All Kinds of Wonderful die set here and just lined it up with my flowers and die cut them out. And I repeated that for the second pair of flowers as well. So now we have all six flowers cut out. I'm going to grab a white gel pen. Now this is a number 10 and I really struggled with gel pens for a long time. They just always were clogging on me and that then I realized that it was kind of the size of my gel pen. Um, and this number 10 here works great. Um, so much better than the number eights I was using before. So I highly recommend if you do struggle with your gel pens, try getting a slightly larger um, pen and it will help. It's it helped me a lot. So I just added a little highlight to all of my flowers just to kind of incorporate a little white and add a little bit of depth. Now we're going to move on to stamping our sentiment. I'm using the Thanks for Being There stamp set for my sentiment. Grab two stamps from that set and we're going to stamp them in a Stargazer again onto some white cardstock. I did make sure the sentiments were kind of separated because we're going to actually die cut the smile out using the Thanks for Being There die set. So we're going to die cut that part out. And then the remaining part of this sentiment, I'm just going to uh, cut out kind of a linear strip here with my ruler and my craft knife. And once I get that kind of cut out, I am going to trim the sides. So I like to do the top and bottom with my craft knife, but on the sides, I'll use my scissors. But I'm going to leave that 
right side a little bit longer so I can adhere smile, our die cut smile to it. So you can see that right side's a little bit longer, add a bit, little bit of liquid glue to the end, or beginning I should say, of smile, and then stuck it down onto that sentiment strip to kind of create this combo sentiment. And now we're ready to kind of bring things together. I have an A2 top folding white card base. I'm going to adhere an A2 panel of the same light pink cardstock that I used for my florals down. And then once I get that stuck down, I'm going to grab all my flowers and kind of arrange them here. Um, pretty much how I stamped them, sort of. And once I get them arranged, I'll then grab a piece of press and seal, place it over all my florals to kind of pick them up. And then we'll remove that press and seal with the florals on it and then add some foam adhesive. I wanted to add a little bit of dimension to these flowers just because this, again, is kind of a clean and simple card. So doing this little subtle of a bit of dimension really adds a lot. You add these, you create these beautiful shadows and it just, it's just really kind of a cool effect, especially since the florals are um, outlined with that pink cardstock. So it's kind of a surprise to see them popping off the page a little bit too. It's like they're just popping out of that background. So kind of a cool effect. So now I'm going to move on to kind of popping those ends of the flowers under from the first row under the tops of the flowers, the second row, just kind of this kind of makes it um, go into the envelope neater. And then for the bottom of the stems for the bottom row I just add a little bit of glue and kind of glued those down to the card front again the flowers have adhesive so the main body of the flowers are popped up but just those ends are kind of either glued down or tucked under just to kind of make it go into your envelope better and then for the sentiment I've added some foam adhesive to the back side and now I'm just going to kind of place it in the center of my card and stick that guy down and that will actually complete this card I'll hold it up to the camera here it's in a good look especially at those flowers with the colored cardstock, especially that the colored cardstock matches the background. I think that's a really cool and very subtle effect, but kind of makes those flowers again look like they're just kind of popping out from the background. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you have any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below. And thank you so much for watching.